Yeah, you know, he usually does that every year. But uh, I just want to do something. Uh, and I centered it a little bit around LeBron Brown, and they kind of just joined forces with what, what he does. And, you know, it just kind of just made sense. And uh, especially scheduling-wise, with us being on the road a lot in the beginning of the year, we just figured this was a nice time to do it. John, you guys have always given back to the community. Both of you guys are community assistant work winners league-wide. So was this a no-brainer to partner with Brad? Oh, for sure, man. Like I said, we're brothers no matter what goes on. I think, like he said, he does things with Ron Brown. I have what I do with Mike McGinney and first of all, the community assist award. I think it just shows true to our character and how we brought up to win that award. That means you you care a lot about what's going on off, out, outside of the basketball court, and that's what we do and we enjoy. And uh, for us, the team, like you said, we're no brainer. We've been traveling a lot and trying to spend as much time as we can. And the most important thing for us is just being present, you know, with the people. And, put smiles on their faces, so we're excited for that. Along those lines, is that the best, best part of the job, seeing the gratitude, seeing the smiles, and seeing what something like this means to these folks? Um, for sure, like like Brad always talks to the audience, like we enjoy it, but the most important thing is being here and interacting with the people, but they put smiles on our faces more than they think they do, and that's what we do it for, and that's what I enjoy it for. We got an opportunity to be on a platform that we get to play the game at the highest level that we want, but there's other things you can do in life and going to continue to go on and, and grow, so we want to improve that aspect as much as possible. It's more than just a turkey. What does this symbolize to you when you have the ability to build the community? Oh. <clears throat> I don't really know, you know, without kind of gassing yourself, you know, it's, but, you know, it's definitely important because uh, I always say we're not purposefully trying to be mentors, but in the way you are, you're kind of thrusting into that position, especially being NBA players, like, with the way branding goes on the market and everything, like, everybody sees us, everybody knows us, everybody wants to know us, so, you know, this is just our way of just giving back and, you know, showing our appreciation to people and showing that, you know, we're citizens, we're, we're human beings, we're not just basketball players. And, and, and even then, we're using our platform you know, to be able to give back and be able to voice things and, you know, make an impact in one way or another. You guys have been um, in Ward 8 working for about over a year now, and you've done a lot of these events in Ward 8. What have you learned about the community since you've been spending more time here as Washington Wizards? For me, I think they're appreciative of us being here. You know, it's like this is our home now. You know, we practice here, the Mystics are here, Gogo's here. Like, so this is, I mean, we're here. Like, I, whenever I get gas, like, I see you guys run up to my car and they're like, just fans. And it's just, a lot of people wouldn't think that, like, everybody's always like, oh, avoid Ward 8. You don't want to go over there. But, you know, people are people and they, they genuinely love everybody. You know, if you respect them and, you know, show that same love back. And that's all we've been doing. And, uh, especially events like this, you know, it's no brainers to them, and you know, they're appreciative of it. And I think that just really makes makes it so much better. You know, the fact that we can kind of join the community and bring up the community in the ways that we're going. What were Thanksgivings like for you guys? Better eat first, <laughs> <laughs> or you won't eat at all. <laughs> That's my mom. Yeah, Brad, all, all your brothers are seven feet tall. No, we ain't seven feet tall, they seven feet wide. Boy's <laughs> 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 big. Boy's big. No, but uh, we ate a lot, so it was it was a dog eat dog world. Yeah. So you fed yourself ASAP when the food was hot and ready, or you wasn't gonna eat. <laughs> Plain and simple. And for me, make it happen. Just figure it out. I mean, losing my dad at nine, my mom working three jobs, so it was kind of tough for us to have a big Thanksgiving. So to be in the position I am now to have a big Thanksgiving, be around my family, to interact and give back to these people. I understand situations they're going through, what they've been through. So what we have to hope somebody go to the Salvation Army or anything like that to get a turkey or just to get candy. So I understand all the pain they go through, so it's a blessing to be with my family. John, what's it like seeing the smiles from especially the kids when they come in here? Oh, uh, that's the best thing. They really don't really know what's going on. I mean, they parents trying to tell them what they are, who we are. Kind of at our age, we probably 10, 11. We wish like our favorite player or the, the basketball or football star, whatever star they was, and our city was there to interact with us and get back to us and that type of platform. So I think the older they get, they understand what happened. But right now, they get some joy in being kids. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.